So, when I lived in Brooklyn, there was no Arif. That's not true. When I lived in Brooklyn, we didn't believe in an Arif. That's not true. When we lived in Brooklyn, we didn't want to believe in an Arif. Why? Because of tradition. I am representing Torah women opposing Erev. To. We are women who want to keep the tradition in Judaism, in Yahadus. Because every Shabbos, the men would go into a house that was converted into a shtibel. You didn't need a big, fat Oedipus building. And they would daven, and after davening, they would have their kiddish, and they would have their schnapps, and their herring, and their cholent, and their kugel. And the important ones would get their pacha and their kishka, and they would come home so happy. In the meantime, because we didn't believe in the Arab, the women would pass the babies over the fence to one house. And in that house, we would have coffee, we would have kokosh, and we would solve the problems of the world, indeed the universe. So why split with tradition? I came to the five towns, and all the women take their kids to shul. Now they have to be bigger shuls to have the women and the children. And we go up to the balcony where you can't hear and you can't see anything. And the men are davening and the children are running a hin and a hair and a hin and a hair. They're running hefker. And they have to spend more money to have more food for the women. So it's not a very good idea what happened, that they broke with tradition and they made these Arab. So I can say that I understand the plight of the people, of the Jews and the people in West Hampton who oppose the Arab. They don't want to break with tradition. They want to be able to sit out on their terraces and eat escargot without seeing their brethren going to shul and not having the pangs of guilt and shame. They want to have the tradition. They want to eat their escargot in peace, gesund to hate. They don't want people running a hen and a hare, running to shul with their children. Then they need a big shul in West Hampton. And then what? And then before you know it, the Jews who are Orthodox are going to come in. And it's just one big sinas chinam. And that's what we're trying to prevent. Torah women opposing Erev and keeping with the tradition. So in this month of Nisan, when we sit at the Seder table and we drink the four cups of Geula, Vehotseiti, Vehitzalti, Vigoalti, Vilakachti, of course, it applies to the day as well. So we have to go back and roll back time to the days of tradition when, we, when there were no Arabs. And we say, Vehotseiti. Thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, for taking the women out of the shuls. Vehitzalti. And thank you for saving us from the other women who talk Lush and Hara about us as we pass them. Vigoalti. And thank you for saving us from the Lush and Hara that we were going to talk about them. And it would come time for Yom Kippur, and we'd have to ask Mechila, and it was a whole to do. So the Vega Alti, thank you for saving us from ourselves. And finally, Vela Kahti. And thank you, as our good friend Yonatan Denver sang, Take Me Home, Country Road, Vela Kahti. And so I wish you, my dear friends and family and fellow West Hamptoners who believe in keeping with tradition, I wish you all, as Rebetzin Sorolaya Steinlaff says, 
Azizen and Kosher Pesach, to you and your families. And may HaKadosh Baruch Hu bring the Geula Shalema, Bimhera Biyamenu, Amen, Amen.